Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it is going to be my liquid lipstick collection and declutter. I've started my lip declutter series. I've already done lip glosses and this week I'm focusing on liquid lipsticks. I'm excited to do this collection because I really feel like I can cut this down. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm thinking reds might be kind of my, you know, smallest little collection in here. And then I have this one, which this is just kind of like a different shade. This is from ColourPop, one of their ultra blotted lips in Away There. This one is just kind of this fun coral color. It's not something that I wear super often, but I also don't really have any other liquid lipstick shades like that. So I'm gonna keep this one. I have two here from Persona Cosmetics. We have Holy Grail, which came out when they first launched their liquid lips, and then also Phoenix. So this one here is Phoenix, and this one is Holy Grail. Phoenix has a little bit more orange to it. And then Holy Grail is a little bit more of just like your true red. I think Holy Grail is such a pretty red lipstick. It's one of my most worn. But I do also like Phoenix because it has that little bit more of orange to it. And I really do like the Persona Cosmetics liquid lip formula. I think it's really comfortable. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep both of these. Oh good, starting off strong, Samantha. Just what we like to see. So I have two here from ColourPop. One is in collaboration with I Love Sarah E. This is Ariba. And then also this was in their, Malo their Mulan collection. This is one of their Lux Liquid Lips. And the shade is in Strong Chi. And for the swatches, this is the Mulan Liquid Lip. And then this is Ariba. Ariba is another one that I would consider a top favorite. I am going to declutter this Mulan. It's a lot, it's quite a bit of a softer formula and just doesn't have as much oomph and that's typically what I like in my liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna declutter that one, but I'm definitely gonna keep around Ariba. I think that is such a gorgeous shade. It looks actually a lot deeper than uh, Holy Grail from Persona. I was kind of wondering how close these two would be. You can see Ariba, I just feel like is like a deeper red. I also really want to swatch Atlantic City from Ofra Cosmetics uh, to compare with Ariba and also Holy Grail because these are my top three red liquid lipsticks. Okay, so this one is at Atlantic City from Ofra. I feel like all three of my favorite reds are different. Like obviously they're similar, but they're different. Am I right or am I right? So those are my top three red liquid lips. I go back to these three over and over and over again. So I'm gonna keep this little mini. Love that it's a mini too. All right, and then finally from Lawless Beauty, this is Romeo. So this is in a different category, I would say if, shade wise, but wanted to include it in here. And that's just kind of more of, of your deeper, vampier type of shade. Again, not something that I go for all that often, Right now I am gonna keep it because I really do like the Lawless liquid lip formula also, but I don't know. This is this might be one of those declutters where I come back at the end and decide to declutter some more than I thought. But as of right now, I'm gonna put it in my keep pile. I just don't have a lot of these vampy tones either. I'm gonna swatch these three next. These are just kind of different shades. Obviously I have a lot of nudes and a lot of pinky nudes. So let's do these next. So from the ColourPop Sailor Moon collection, this is another ultra blotted lip in Usagi. And then from Sigma, one of their liquid lipsticks, this is in, I believe it's Fox Glove. Yeah, Fox Glove. And then another one from a Lawless, this is in Dane. So ColourPop, Sigma, and also Lawless. Again, the Lawless one I do wanna keep. This one has a lot of purple to it. And again, just kind of more of that vampier, darker color. Not something that I wear all that often, but Lawless, is a great liquid lipstick formula if you're looking for something that's really comfortable not really drying um, Yet it's still not going to transfer everywhere. It's going to stay on all night long I would highly recommend the lawless. I know that I'm going to declutter the color pop the color pop Really doesn't have my favorite lip formula. Uh, I really like their lip liners But especially for the ultra blotted lips like you can just see from the swatch I like something with a little bit more impact for my liquid lips and then moving over to the one from Sigma I have had this one for a while and it's been one of those colors that I like to keep around because I don't really have anything else like this in my collection. I didn't feel like the swatch came out the best again. I've had this one now for a couple of years I think it's probably telling me that it's time to 
to say goodbye to this one because this came out a while ago. So I'm going to declutter the Sigma and the ColourPop and keep the Lawless. Next up, I grab this section. These all look to be kind of like that light nude brown. So I have two here on the end from Huda Beauty, her liquid matte formula. Wifey and Sugar Mama from Lawless. We have Leo, Persona, this is OG, and ColourPop, this is Beeper. Here are those nude swatches. So we have Wifey and Sugar Mama from Huda Beauty, Leo from Lawless. This one is OG from Persona and then Beeper from ColourPop. Love all of these shades. So Wifey is one. Every single time I swatch this lipstick, I think, why don't I wear this every single day? I love Wifey. <laughs> so much. The Huda Beauty Liquid Matte, when these were first coming out and I was purchasing them in these sets to get the minis, I fell in love with this formula. I wouldn't say anymore that it's like one of my top top liquid lipstick formula because there's just been so many good ones that have come out, but it's still a nice one. It is very liquidy, but it stays in place well and she has some beautiful shades to choose from. I'm definitely going to keep wifey. Sugar Mama, this one, I, I feel like especially because I don't reach for the Huda as much, I can declutter this one. And then for Leo from Lawless, which is in the middle, this is a really pale nude. It's not one that I reach for on its own all that often, but it, it can be good to blend with another liquid lipstick or to use with like a darker lip liner. Again, I just love the Lawless liquid lips, so I'm going to keep that one. Persona, the OG Persona, I mean, they have so many good releases, but their liquid lips, I think the formula is really spectac spectacular also very lightweight very comfortable on the lips maybe not the most long wearing liquid lipstick but still the formula is so comfortable and that og shade is beautiful so i'm going to keep that one beeper i'm kind of having a hard time with this is a newer beeper i used to have beeper back in the day also but then i actually picked up another one it was still a while ago, maybe like last year, I rebought this one because I loved Beeper back in the day, kind of that darker nude, especially when that was really in. Oh, as of right now, I'm going to put ColourPop in the keep pile, but again, I might come, I might come back. I might revisit this one. Moving forward, so we have from Dose of Colors, this is Nude Chica. We have two from Ofra in Sanibel and also Aspen. From Huda Beauty, one of her Demi Matte Lipsticks in Day Slayer. From Ofra, this is in collaboration with Jen Loves Reviews. This is Revive, yes. And then from Lawless on the end, we have Cameron. These are the swatches here. So we have Dose of Colors, two from Ofra. Huda Beauty, uh, Ofra, and Jen Loves Reviews, and then also Lawless. So starting with Nude Chica, you know, I think this is a pretty shade. This was in collaboration with I Love Sarah E. I just really don't reach for it very often, so... I'm going to declutter it. I, I'm not going to lie. I used to love Dose of Colors liquid lips, and I just feel like I don't really reach for them as much anymore. And next up from Ofra, again, Sanibel and Aspen. I'm a really big fan of Aspen. I like Sanibel a lot. It was one of those liquid lips that I have tried for a long time, and I used to really, really love the shade, but I feel like Aspen, something about this darker nude kind of pulls to me even more, and I definitely have a lot of Ofra liquid lips, including my own collaboration that I definitely wear the most of. So I'm going to declutter Sanibel and then keep Aspen. For the Huda Beauty Day Slayer, this is one of my favorite nude shades. I've said it since the day I bought this Demi Matte. Again, I'm a fan of this one. I'm a fan of her regular liquid lips, but this shade just like does something for me. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. And then the two on the end, we have the really light shades. Again, Jen's, her, her collaboration that she did with Oprah was kind of about mixing and matching and creating your favorite liquid lipstick shades. So I have two other ones that I'm going to show because she came out with a trio. This is the lightest one. And again, this can be good for um, changing a, a liquid lipstick color. If I think that it's too dark, I can combine it with this or I can put a little bit in the center and then kind of give that ombre effect. I mean, there's just a lot that you can do with the lipsticks that Jen came out with. And of course, I'm so proud of her. So I'm going to be keeping that one. And again, from Lala's kind of the same concept. I wanted to swatch these two next to each other because I was curious how close they would be. Definitely for Revive, I wouldn't wear this on its own. With Cameron, I probably could pull it off. Um, but for me, I'd probably like a darker lip liner, but I'm going to keep both of these two. <laughs> Here is our next section from ColourPop. 
we have uh, Point Zero. So this is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights from Alamar Cosmetics. We have Chula from Huda Beauty. We have a Girlfriend, another one from ColourPop. This was in collaboration with I Love Sarah E. This is 951. From Ofra, we have Lasso Lass, and then from Lawless George. So the first one here from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights in Point Zero. I had a point in time in life where I was so obsessed with this lipstick shade. It was just so different from anything that I had in my collection. This kind of cool tone, like gray, brown color. I mean, it was just so different. And I knew that this would be coming up in this declutter and I'm like, I've had this one for such a long time. Honestly, it swatches pretty decent for having it as long as I have, but I think that it's time to say goodbye. I really can't remember the last time I've worn this shade and I've had it for a long, long time. So I am gonna say goodbye to point zero, which is hard for me to do, but I think that it's necessary. Moving on to the one from Alamar Cosmetics. This is a lip gloss. I don't know why I always think that this is a lipstick and I store it with my lipsticks but though this one should have been in my gloss collection but it's my only lip product from Alamar Cosmetics and it's a good topper gloss so I'm going to keep that one uh, and then next up the middle shade is from Huda Beauty and that is in Girlfriend pretty shade but I'm going to declutter that I, I again with the Huda I really like I want to wear wifey <laughs> I want to wear wifey again this one right here is from Colourpop and I Love Sarah E this is in 951 that one is a really beautiful shade. I bought it because I just, I really enjoy Karen. I think that she's so beautiful. Um, you know what? I'm going to declutter it. I'm trying to do better on these and I really, I don't reach for the color pop liquid lips all that much. So I'm going to declutter that one. Next up we have from Ofra. This is in Lasso Lass. I do want to keep this one. It's been a favorite brown nude of mine for quite some time. So I'm going to keep that one. have some good memories with Lasso Lass. And then lastly, we have from Lawless. This is in George. This continues to be, this is my number one out of all of the Lawless liquid lips. And I clearly have a lot. This is my number one, but this was my number one liquid lip for a while. When I first got it, I was obsessed with wearing George because it's such a great nude. So I'm going to keep that one. Next up to from Dose of Colors. This one is a mauve story and then this one is in Rosebud. Of course we have Santo Domenico and Cozumel and then from Sigma Beauty one of their liquid lips in Corda Rosa. Okay, so the two from Dose of Colors, a mauve story and Rosebud. A mauve story was in collaboration with I love Sarah E or Desi and Katie. I can't remember off the top of my head. Rosebud actually feels really dry. I've had that shade for a very long time and it was kind of harder to swatch. Not like I've gone through it completely, but I mean, I feel like it was getting there. So really, you know, different color, a little bit more of that cool toned color, not one that I have a lot. And a mauve story is pretty, but again, I'm just not reaching for these very often. So I'm gonna declutter those. Then we have these two here from NARS. Both are more of this gloss formula. So once again, I cannot get my formula straight, but Santo Domenico is the first one and that's a full vinyl lip lacquer. And then Cosmel next to it is the Velvet Lip Glide. Santo Domenico is just, this is another shade that I just think is so beautiful. I can wear it alone with some lip liner. I mean, it's it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna keep that one. Cosmel, I don't reach for as much, so I'm going to declutter that. And then from Sigma, their Corda Rosa. This is probably my favorite liquid lipstick shade from Sigma. I wouldn't say they have my absolute top favorite liquid lipstick formula. There's some other ones that I prefer, but I would like to keep that one. Let's just finish off my ColourPop collection. So we have some Luxe Velvets here, and then also a lip oil. I had another lip oil in that I included in my gloss collection because I don't really have a ton of lip oils, but I have this one now too. And some of the names are a little bit hard for me to pronounce, but we have Fatel, and then the lip oil is Blossom Out, but the other two I can't really pronounce the best. Uh, and then here are the swatches starting with Fatel and then we have the two other uh, velvets and then this one here is the lip oil so it's a little bit harder for me to swatch. And I think I'm actually just going to declutter all four of these. Again, ColourPop doesn't have my absolute favorite formula and the velvets, this one definitely to me is the one that I would wear the most but I just, I wouldn't wear it enough compared to my other ones. And then this lip oil really is pretty, but I actually like the other one that I showed last week more. I think I would get more use out of it. And again, lip oils aren't my absolute go-to, so I don't feel like I need multiples in my collection. Next up, I have three here from Sigma Beauty. We have Cashmere, Suede, New Mood. Then this one from Rare Beauty in Courage and Dose of Colors in Truffle. So here are the swatches. So the first three from Sigma. I know New Mood, I would declare because that one is quite old 
older. Um, you can see even the packaging is different from the newer ones to the older one. This is like the same as Foxglove and I know I've had that one for a while. So for sure gonna declutter that one. Cashmere and suede are new. And they're both so beautiful, though I kept Corderosa. And again, I like the formula, but it's not going to be my most worn. So I feel like I can declutter these two. I'm really sure. Like, I really wanted to cut down my collection. So I'm going to declutter those three. From Rare Beauty, it's not my absolute favorite formula, just because kind of the same as what I've been saying with the ColourPop, like the Ultra, um, ultra Blotted and the Velvets. There's just not enough oomph for me that I prefer in a liquid lipstick. It is my only one that I have from Rare Beauty right now. I just bought a balm um, that I'm going to be trying. So I'm going to keep it. And lastly, the one from Dose of Colors and Truffle. It's beautiful. Gorgeous liquid lipstick. But I'm going to declutter it. I think that means I've decluttered all of my Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. And I don't know what more I can say besides New Year, New Me. I think I need to go get some water. Let's finish out my Ofer Cosmetics collection. So first up, this is the collaboration with myself. This is in Story. Then we have Pasadena. This is one of their Flexi, their Flexi Slick Lipsticks in Slip. And then lastly, another mini liquid lip in Mocha. So the first swatch is in Story. So that's my collab with Ofer Cosmetics. It's still available now. You can get it on the Ofer Cosmetics website. It's also available on international retailers. You can purchase it in the duo with my lip gloss and Millie or you can purchase them separately and then we have Pasadena and then this is the flexi slick and slip and then lastly we have mocha so obviously I'm going to be keeping story and just like with Millie I have like 500 stories laying around it is my most worn liquid lipstick for sure I love it so much uh, for Pasadena actually this one I have had it for a while and it's kind of been in in rough condition can you tell that I have shown this one some love and it really uh, I had to give it some oomph to swatch it. So I love Over Cosmetics. I think they continue, are they the only liquid lipstick that I have gone through a full size? Maybe I have with ColourPop back in the day when they were first coming out with their ultra mattes, but I, I mean, the Ofra liquid lipstick is my favorite. I mean, it's just, it's such a good formula. I have worn it for years to have my own shade still is just like, what is life? I don't understand that. So yeah, but I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter Pasadena because I feel like she's on her last leg. And for Slip, when the Flexi Slick formula first came out, I really wasn't a big fan of it, but I know they are, I'm pretty sure they revamped the formula and now I do like it a lot more and I've continued to only keep one in my collection since I usually do prefer a liquid lip and this is kind of like a hybrid, which between like a liquid lip and a gloss, which isn't always my favorite, but I would still like to keep around one shade to have. And then lastly, we have Mocha there on on the end. I think Mocha is a really pretty shade, but I've kept some other ones from Ofra, so I think I'm going to declutter this one. I'm also really bothered because my other two liquid lips from Jen's collab is not here, and this is what happens when you have too big of a lipstick collection, then you lose lipsticks. So I just did a quick search for them because my camera battery is about to die, but I'm going to have to find those. Those are the two that I wear more often. I probably put them in a special spot because, you know, they're my friend's collab and I'm like, yay. But then I always forget where my special spot is. So, you know, uh, these are the last three liquid lipsticks to go through. So we have from Persona Cosmetics, this is Flamingo. From Kevin Aquan, we have Janet. And from Fenty Beauty, we have Uncuffed. So the swatches here, we have Persona uh, Kevin Aquan and Fenty Beauty. So Persona, I really, like I said, like their lipstick formula. This is just a shade that I'm really not going to wear. So I'm going to declutter that one. From Kevin Aquan, I love that shade, Janet. It's so beautiful. It was an expensive liquid lipstick. I bought it myself. I like a lot from the brand and it's a comfortable formula, but I never reach for it. I never reach for it. And I don't know why I wish that I did but I'm gonna declutter that. Someone else can use it a lot more than I will. And then from Fenty Beauty, I'm a big fan of Uncuffed and of the formula, so I'm gonna keep that one. That's everything. Let me pull them out, see how I did. And All right, here are the final totals. I have shocked myself. I am keeping 24. I am decluttering 24. Look at that, half of my collection. I feel incredibly proud about this. I'm very happy. This is what I wanted to do. 
This is what I set out to do and I feel good about this. So I am decluttering half of my liquid lipsticks. There we go. Thank you so much for watching this declutter. I'm like on cloud nine right now. Gotta go find two other lipsticks though. So technically I am keeping, but that's, let's just stay on it that I am decluttering half in this video. Thank you so much. All right, next week's declutter will be my bullet lipstick collection. Thank you so much for watching my declutters. My finale is gonna be my eyeshadow palette one. So stay tuned for that. That is coming up. If you enjoyed this declutter though, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.